when you buy something, you expect it to be fully yours, right? Where what you can and can't do isn't dictated by the manufacturer. So take this as an exercise in your right to fully own what it is you purchase. It's time for a jailbreak. In this video, we're gonna jailbreak the Verizon iPhone. What is jailbreaking? By default, Apple imposes certain limitations on the iPhone so that you can't install your own custom software and so that you can't access certain phone functionalities. Jailbreaking your phone allows you full access to your phone's features. Essentially, it's the same thing as rooting for Android phones. Is this legal? Yep. At least according to the latest ruling by the Library of Congress. You can find a link in the description. Should I really do this? That depends on if you benefit from having root access to your phone. If you're happy with the way your phone currently is, then there's no reason to jailbreak it. To jailbreak it, we're going to be using Green Poison 5.4, which is an untethered jailbreak. All untethered means is that you don't have to plug in and re-jailbreak your phone every time you reboot it. So let's get to it. Go to the Green Poison website located here and download the version of Green Poison for your operating system. When it's through downloading, unzip it and launch the Green Poison installer. At this point, you want to plug in your iPhone into your computer and close iTunes if it starts up automatically. Click prepare to jailbreak and follow the countdown instructions. Press and hold the sleep button for a couple seconds. Continue holding the sleep button and press the home button for 10 seconds. Release the sleep button and continue holding the hold button for 15 seconds. After that it should turn your phone off. Just click the jailbreak button and allow it to do its thing. When it's through, click quit and you're done with that step. So now that it's jailbroken, what can you do? Well, you can install apps and themes that Apple generally doesn't allow. And you can do this through a program called Cydia, which should now be ready to install on your phone. To install Cydia on your newly jailbroken phone, you should see an app called Loader. Assuming you have a Wi-Fi or 3G connection, launch Loader and it will install Cydia for you. When it's through, you should now see the Cydia icon. When you launch Cydia, it will go through its update process, and when it's done, you can search through Cydia just like the Apple App Store to find jailbroken apps. Now what you decide to install on it is up to you, and whether or not you think it's worth it is also up to you. Already jailbroken your iPhone? Then let me know what your favorite jailbroken apps are in the comments below. Alright, be sure to check out Tinkernut on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.